My name is Alex Murphy. I'm a professional figure skater, and I had my stroke when I was 24. I had no idea what a stroke was. I didn't hear about it on TV. I didn't know family members. I didn't know that young people had suffered from them. I didn't know any warning signs, so I never thought it would happen to me. I went to hang up my costume on the rack, so I took my, my first part of my costume off, and I couldn't get my arm onto the rack. When I went to put my arm up, I realized that there was something wrong, that there was some reason why I couldn't do it. And I went to take my right skate off, and I couldn't feel my hands to take my skate off. I couldn't feel my foot, and I thought that my feet were kind of tingling from the cold. So I went into the bathroom, and I looked at myself in the mirror, and I had no idea who I was. And I was banging my right hand on the porcelain sink, and I couldn't feel it. And I just remember staring at myself, not knowing who I was. And finally, one of my colleagues opened the door and said, you know, Ali, are you okay? And I looked at them and I just fell. I still mentally am slower and behind everybody else. So I might look like everybody else, but it, it's taken years to get back to reading, to get back to writing again. I was a journalist major. You know, I wanted to be in journalism. I wanted to do TV broadcasting and I couldn't speak. My dad had a stroke a year and a half after me. But my mom had studied strokes for a year and a half after my incident, so she knew every warning sign. My dad had the first two, you know, his face, and he slurred his words. And instantly, my mom called 911. Within 11 minutes, he was in a hospital bed and down the street to the hospital, and he was fine. I know it sounds terrible, but I'm really glad I had my stroke because if I hadn't, then my mom wouldn't have known anything about strokes because it's not spoken about and she wouldn't have saved his life. And he could be handicapped today. He could be dead today. This campaign could change the way that young people like me look at stroke. The more you talk about it, the more chance you have of saving somebody's life. And because we're so scared to talk about it, I feel like people aren't ready to accept that it is unfortunately a condition that could happen to anyone.